Sandra Devine's Millington or singing Sandra has passed away. This artist, daughter of the soil, left a big legacy. Marie Therese Bernard spoke with her friend Mark John, the contender. We are told singing Sandra was in hospital for several days and passed away at one this morning. Mark John, the contender, spoke with TTT News on his friendship with the towering talent of singing Sandra. He said they were friends from school days. She would have contributed significantly to the art form of Calypso. And she, well, well, even from the, where she came from, the better village days, eh? She, so, so, so she had that sort of foundation. And she would have come through the, the art form for, for, for a number of years, for a great amount of time. And she would have achieved a great deal of success. And she was a committed person to the art form. Mr. John also said singing Sandra had a sterling relationship with many female Calypsonians, guiding them in the art form. A number of the female artists, Calypsonians, would have modeled her, as you know, for instance, like Karin Ashe and these people, would have seen her as an exemplar to them then, uh, you know. There are a few of them, well, when they come on stage, I would have heard them say, and would have influenced them with respect to their participation or their input into the Calypso art form. Contender says that she will be sorely missed. Her inspiring songs like Die With My Dignity and many others, he said, set a standard for those in the Calypso arena. The wife at home, they can't ask she to do that. So before I had to lick down somebody, or cause I let the police come for me, tell them they could keep their money, I go keep my money, and die with my dignity. I'm born with it. Mary Therese Bernard, TTT News. And the Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Arts, Senator Randall Mitchell, says he is saddened to hear of the passing of Calypsonian Sandra Devines, singing Sandra, also known by many as Mother. In a statement, the minister extends condolences to the family of the 64-year-old singing Sandra and the Calypso fraternity, many of whom she mentored. He says for decades, singing Sandra, a former two-time Calypso monarch, not only entertained national and international audiences with her many Calypsos, but was seen as an educator via her songs. Minister Mitchell notes that long before the Time's Up and Me Too movements took root, singing Sandra embraced the women's movement and provided the nation's women with the rallying call to die with their dignity. She says singing Sandra was true to her word, and as we mourn her passing, we will always be thankful for her contribution, which has made us a richer nation.